Hey y'all, Adventure Brad here, and I wanted to share with you my Solve Most Problems bag. Now this isn't my survival kit, my, this is my EDC bag, but it's not a gun. Um, this pretty much goes with me everywhere, uh, at least the vehicle, mode of transportation I'm in. Um, it's close at hand, it just goes in my hiking bag, uh, it goes in my little bag, goes out working with me. Um, it goes everywhere. Even if I go down to the beach for the day, this just goes in a little day bag. That's the point of this thing. It's tight. It's neat. This is my solve most problems day to day bag. First off, uh, the bag itself. This is a bag that I got, but they sell similar ones at like Lowe's, Home Depot to put your tools in. I recommend something that's got a spot where you can hook a carabiner to it so you can clip it so you can easily find it. Um, this will actually fit like in a back pocket and clip to a belt loop. Um, if I just just had to roll that way, I like that I could clip the zipper off. Make sure you get a durable bag. So like I said, this is not a survival bag. This is a solve most problems bag. So let's just get into it. I'm going to just start pulling out pieces and show you what you got. So you can't solve... <laughs> most problems can be solved with the first thing out of the bag, and that's duct tape. Uh, this is Gorilla Tape. Um, I just happen to have it around. Uh, duct tape works just as fine. Quick tip is you got to have a usable amount. Um, so on item number two, this is a Bic lighter. This is a smaller amount. Uh, this is what I originally was carrying just on the Bic because you always need a lighter for multiple things. But I was using this amount up all the time. Got this little roll. But you can see the cardboard inside. I just rolled that out from the inside. So I had just enough to hold the sticky on and then I closed it up. Excuse me, save a lot of space. So duct tape, Gorilla tape. Thick lighter, uh, self-explanatory. No, this is not waterproof in this arrangement, but I don't plan on getting this bag wet. Uh, Bix are always handy. Make sure you have a full one. Don't use a half one or whatever. So the next thing coming out of the bag here, let's get all of it. Is 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 the rest of it should be somewhere over the rainbow. Here we go. So we have screwdriver. Little ratcheting job, small, it's got a little turny in, so it's easy to use. Multiple bits from the little Torxy guys, um, which <laughs> was getting my uh, annual haircut and uh, the other day, and the lady was complaining about her ATM machine being loose. So, ha uh, Torxy bits solved the day. Uh, some Phillips flatheads, just basic uh, stuff to go with the screwdriver and extension. Uh, it slides in here so I could reach down in there. That's... It's, it's a screwdriver. It's handy for all kinds of stuff. Uh, along the lines of the next thing, Leatherman. That's kind of obvious too. It gives you pliers. It gives you this particular model. Let's just pull it all out. Is the Wingman, which is not a super tool, but I find it's a nice balance. Uh, it was my little pocket slider for the longest until we updated that. But we'll have another video on that soon. Uh, Phillips Flathead. Bottle opener, uh, can opener, which is, there's a difference. Yeah, it's got the little the razor sharpener on the edge. That way you could actually open a can. Uh, that's way better than a, just a straight up bottle opener because um, bottle opener is annoying. That's a cardboard cutter. That's actually handy so you don't run up your main blade uh, killing cardboard. Uh, and in a survival situation, that could work as maybe a skinning tool in one direction maybe a little bit less clumsy the ruler surprising or not i actually have used but it's short and not incremented the file that's you know it's a file it's handy so on the outside i just have a serrated knife and scissors scissors are handy because then you can get nice little cuts and like i said for day to day you gotta trim a piece of fabric tidy something up, gasket material, you're fixing something, scissors are ultra nice. Along the same lines, four inch croissant wrench. Um, just, you could never have too many of these. Uh, next in line, ibuprofen, because <laughs> ibuprofen takes problems. Rope, this is some diamia line. Um, it's about two wingspans, so approximately six feet or so. Uh, just daisy chained all up so I could easily pull it apart, but it's tight and easy out of the way. Um, it's like a hundred pound test, so doubled up. That's uh, 200 pound. That's enough to like, you know, 
lower something, pick something up, even a hundred pounds, you could pick a bike out of a hole or do something stupid because I do stupid things like that. Uh, and that's kind of why it's in there. Um, Benadryl, Benadryl's handy as heck. Um, the dog in the background or any dog, the rule of thumb is one milligram per pound. I'm not a vet, but that's the standard I've heard around for dogs. Um, my dog, I give her half a pill and it makes her all drowsy and knocks her out. It's great for having around for humans and dogs for bee stings, allergy attacks, all that. Cause as soon as something happens, you want to nip it right on the butt so it doesn't get out of control. So Benadryl's handy. Um, next thing is this little picky thing. This is handy just for general purpose, reaching, pulling, um, locks. Uh, this is a great lock tool. Um, Locks on cars, doors, windows, all kinds of things like that. Somebody locks the keys out of the car. This thing is awesome. Flashlight. Dun -dun 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 -dun. LED, mag, waterproof, handy as heck. Uh, brand new lithium long life storage shelf life battery in there. So hopefully it's always ready to go. Um, Idiot powder. You cut yourself open, you flay yourself unintentionally. This is like the powder you put on there. It helps coagulate the wound and hopefully keep you from making a giant mess everywhere. Uh, next up, test light. Um, this is handy for multiple reasons. Uh, I got It could be used as a jumper, uh, clips, uh, test light, progger poker. Um, yeah, vehicles die, test lights are handy. Uh, saying in here, super glue. Yeah, I got tape on this in case it gets busted with everything in here. Hopefully, it doesn't make a giant mess. But super glue is good for closing up wounds. Uh, a lot of people don't know that, but it was originally invented for in wartime. Take small cuts, put them together, put a little lap of uh, super glue over the top, let it dry, and it'll actually, especially like on your finger and stuff like that, that's always moving and opening up, but you can't band aid it well. Works really good. Don't do it on big wounds or anything like that, but like little cuts, little things that just don't want to heal. Don't put it down in the wound. Push the wound shut. Drop it on top. Even if you need help, uh, uh, it on. Whatever you got to do. Uh, super glue works good for that. Wounds, whatever. Um, next up, this is a little USB cord. I'm not sure where I got it, but on the end, all taped up here is a little, it came with my phone. Let's untape it here and show you guys. Urgh. The cord itself is just a uh, micro USB. And then I have this uh, micro USB to C adapter that came with my phone. And then I 3D printed a little cover. I guess the tape would have been fine, but I'm weird and I like to 3D print things. So yeah, I got that all taped up here. It's amazing how often you could use a cell phone charger or a charger for a light or for a camera or for whatever and it's a little short one but it's handy it fits in the bag it's a cell phone charger zip ties they're right up there they're notice they're bobbed um they're the bigger ones so i didn't use shorties I, these are like medium-sized ones but i bobbed them to fit in the bag nice uh taped all or shrink wrapped up so they're there Zip ties are just ultra handy. Then when I pull one or two out, I hit it with the lighter, pull the shrink wrap down, I don't have to chase them all over the place. Next up. Now this is some serious stuff. This is from my flying equipment. Uh, this line's rated like a thousand pounds, 900 close to it, Kevlar. It's super duper heavy duty. Uh, I nicked the sheath on it, but the inners are good. So I won't use it for flying anymore. But again, if you need rope, you need cordage, it's just like, 15 20 foot this is this is handy you, you never know when you need to do something like that more of the little powdery stuff here more benadrillage kind of saving the best for last here well not the best but just the uh, handiest tooth tweezers now i say handiest these are actually pretty handy um i got shrink tube over the end uh Keep them together so they don't get tore up and they don't stab a wab at you. Um, but tweezers are really good. On that note too, a men's comb, if you're in the desert lot, not the, not a brush, but a comb, you know, with that's all straight comb with the adjustable blade, so narrower to thinner on one end. 
if you're in a desert area or there's a lot of cactus, they work really good for combing out cactus uh, in you or your dog. If you get in the choya or the jumping cactus or any of that nasty, not funny stuff. Yeah, too thick because, you know, wheat beef jerky around here. So that is what's in the bag. Oh, wait, but there's more. What's in this? This is um, my, like, ninja kit. This is because more often than not, it's actually happened to me a couple times. I've been locked behind a gate because I've been up somewhere for a weekend or all day and the gate was open so I went up it not to know that yeah, they were probably going to lock it. Most of the time I try not to get myself in that situation but it happens. Um, first off, this little pointy thing here is part of an USB card removal tool but it works really good as a prod, a pick, a feeler. Um, USB card removal tool, SD card, SIM card, that's, that's what it was originally. I'll put that over there. I don't want to try to lose these guys. So in here is a set of, uh, this is like a rake. There's a little lifter and a hook, uh, like a Bogota thing. Um, I don't know how well you guys are seeing those. Uh, those are like the bread and butter of picking, at least for me. And this is not something where you just go buy a pick set and you go right through it. Picking is actually an art, and the more you get into it, you appreciate it. You got to get some locks, get the ones you expect to encounter, go through them. Um, and besides getting locked behind gates, you know what this solves me a lot? Work. I go out to customers' places, and they got a lock on something, and they forgot to leave the key with so-and-so, or so-and-so's not there, or you end up whatever. And it's like, well, you either call a locksmith, or I take it apart. And it's always... It's always kind of fun because you're like, well, if you can, and, you know, I just sit there in the evening and watch videos and on YouTube and play with locks in my hand, and it kind of comes second nature, and after a second, you'll get at picking locks if you put some effort in. So, yeah, I'll pick their lock open and then send them a picture of their lock laying open, and they're like, oh. It's like, yeah, locks only slow people down, um, or only stop honest people. So you want to you wanna be mindful of that insecurity in general. Uh, yes, lock your stuff up. Yes, be diligent, out of sight, out of mind. Hopefully, they'll go on to somebody else. But, you know, this is a $20 set. Um, but the $20 set does not just mean you're into everything. Like I said, it takes a lot of practice. Most Joe Blow criminals not going to put that amount of practice into it. To me, it was more like it's kind of fun. Like I said, I've been locked behind a couple of things. It's come in handy. These are little uh, twisting torsion bars. And I don't really need to explain that because they're, if you're into that, this is most of the time, if I was going to carry one thing out of this whole thing, besides maybe that little picky, would be this. And this is great for all those combination locks, the little master ones with the four wheels on them. Yeah, with one of these, this is like 30 seconds, minute tops, and you're through one of those. So yeah, if you have one of those little goldish color brass covered master lock things, and it's locking in anything more than your lawnmower up, get rid of it because, yeah, you go right through it. And on that note, lock picking lawyer and Bosnian Bill. But anyways, um, I digressed way off into, uh, yeah, things that this video wasn't about. This video was about just what is in my bag that solves most problems for me, you know, <laughs> It's like you'd be out at the beach and, you know, and there actually there should be a couple of fuses in here um, that I've kind of used up and haven't put back in. But uh, you could use bits of wire. Never. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, but it's just amazing you're out somewhere and you're in your t-shirt and flip-flops and all of a sudden you're fixing a problem out of this little stupid purple bag. So anyways, you guys saw it. Stay safe out there. Mind your top knot, Pilgrim.